Are you trying to take live streaming serious, but you feel like you're doing something wrong? What's up, mate? My name is Twitter, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over 11 mistakes that small streamers are still making with their live streaming career. This video is for streamers on Twitch, Kick, Rumble, YouTube Live, or really any platform where you can make live streaming your career. If you've never heard of me, I help people grow on Twitch slash Kick. I'm looking for new streamers to manage personally to help you grow with your live streaming journey. I started my management career with my first client at Julia's Not Live. She started seeing growth as soon as she started working with me, and through my guidance, we were able to grow her channel to these numbers in only six months. If you are interested in my personal one-on-one -on -one management, you could read more on my Patreon, which is the top link in my description, or I will be explaining more at the end of this video. Now let's get right into the mistakes that you need to fix in order to start seeing more growth on either Twitch, Kick, Rumble, or YouTube Live. The most common mistake I see small streamers make is inconsistent streaming slash overstreaming. Not having a regular schedule can make it difficult for viewers to tune into your stream on a regular basis. Regular viewers is key to having a consistent viewership, which will inevitably lead to new viewers discovering your content. The second part of this is even more important. Do not overstream. Stream. The worst thing that you can do as a small streamer is stream too often. The main reason for this is you do not want to get stuck streaming in the dreaded 1-2 to two viewer loop. Twitch has terrible discoverability. What I mean by that is just streaming on Twitch isn't going to bring in any new viewers to your channel. Do not let this demotivate you. Instead, let me offer you a simple solution. Create a schedule that revolves around you streaming once a week, and on the other days, focus on posting clips on TikTok and other social media platforms. This is going to give you and your streams the proper discoverability to bring in new viewers to your stream. This is exactly what I teach all of my streamers in my management program except I actually help work with them to boost each of their algorithms to help get them recommended by more people. The second mistake I see streamers make is not interacting with chat. You might be thinking, well, if I have no chat, I have no one to interact with. While that is true to some extent, you should still be acting like you have hundreds of viewers watching you. You should be talking as much as possible and be entertaining at all times because you never know when someone is going to start watching you. Not to mention, you need to be entertaining for footage for clips. When you do start to get people showing up in your chat, you need to be interacting with them as much as possible. When you're engaging with the viewer, it will make them feel much more connected to you and a part of your community versus just feeling like a viewer of some random streamer. The third mistake I see streamers make is a lack of networking. Networking is an important part of growing with your live streaming brand and I often see streamers neglect it. No matter where you are in your streaming career, you can collab with other streamers that have a similar viewer base, even if it's zero. If you work on building a community with other streamers, you all will feed off of each other's growth. This is the easiest way to grow five times as fast because you are all working together to bring in new viewers for everyone. This is why everyone in my management program is a part of one discord and it's all like a community because everyone likes to support each other. The fourth mistake I see small streamers make is having poor video slash audio quality. Having poor quality audio is the quickest way to get new viewers to leave your channel. I understand that this could be expensive, however, I want to give you some cheap options. If you are on a very low budget, try to save for a blue snowball mic. For the price, the quality is not that bad and no one will leave your stream for the audio issues. Especially if you use a software like Voice Meter Banana, which will help you set a limiter on your mic and boost the quality of any microphone. Personally, I've had $400 studio mics and I went back to using a Blue Yeti. For videos and streaming, this mic is much better. Not only should you be constantly working to improve your audio quality, but your stream should also never be laggy. If you do not have the best PC, try streaming less intensive games. No one is going to want to watch a laggy stream just because it's Warzone. Instead, try streaming a simple game like Vanilla Minecraft. Webcams are a huge part of streaming, but if you don't have a decent quality webcam, I wouldn't use one at all. Not using a webcam won't hurt you as much as you think, whereas using a poor quality webcam will definitely hurt your chances of growing. The fifth mistake that I see small streamers make over and over is streaming popular games. Streaming popular games can make it difficult for small streamers to ever be noticed as they are often buried in the category. Choosing a less popular game or a niche can help you stand out and attract a dedicated audience. For example, if you average 10 viewers while playing Warzone, it'll take forever to scroll down and find you. Whereas if you have 10 viewers playing Black Ops 2, you'll be second on the list and way more likely to be discovered even though it's a much less popular game. Black Ops 2 is just a random example, but you can do some math to see the perfect game to stream. For an example, take how many people are streaming a game divided by how many viewers it has. The higher the number, the better chance you have of gaining a viewership. The six mistakes small streamers are still making is lack of promotion. As I said earlier, Twitch has terrible discoverability. If you only focus on streaming on Twitch slash Kick, you will not reach a new audience. Instead, you should focus on promoting your stream on social media or other platforms which will help you reach a wider audience. By promoting, I do not mean running social media ads on Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. By promoting, I simply mean just posting your content. These other social media platforms have algorithms that you could take advantage of and you will not need to spend money to promote your content. These algorithms will do that work for you. Not promoting your stream on these other social media platforms will limit your growth potential exponentially. You should be using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, TikTok, and obviously Twitch. If you do not have all of these, you should pause the video right now and make them. The seventh mistake I see streamers make is not being consistent. Consistency is key to building a community on Twitch. I do not mean consistently streaming because if you listen to my first mistake, you should be streaming only once a week on the same day at the same time. This level of consistency is going to inevitably lead to growth because you are building yourself into your audience's weekly schedule. Not only should you be consistent with streaming once a week, you should also stay consistent with 
the category and type of games that you play. If you are switching up games every stream, there will be a lack of consistency and your viewers will pick up on that and will want to watch you less. Not only that, but you should act relatively the same for every stream. If you're changing your personality every stream, your viewers will pick up on this and start to think that you are inauthentic and become less of a regular viewer. The eighth mistake and arguably one of the most important mistakes that you cannot make anymore is lack of personality. Personality is extremely important on any social media platform, especially a live streaming platform. And the main reason a viewer will watch a streamer is because of their unique personality. Being entertaining is a learnable skill. You should watch your streams from the perspective of a viewer and you should be objectively thinking, is this stream entertaining? If not, then your personality is to blame. Do not let this demotivate you because like I said, entertaining is a learnable skill. Just take a step back and focus on becoming more entertaining before you go live again. You could always do practice streams and work on talking consistently throughout the whole stream. In doing this, you will be able to shape your personality and become consistently entertaining for every stream. The ninth mistake I see streamers make is not taking advantage of Twitch's raid feature. You might be thinking, well, if I have no community, what is the point of raiding or trying to get other streamers to raid me when I know they won't? You need to start building what I call a stream team. A group of four to 10 streamers all streaming the same game or the same type of games and everyone raid each other. You guys should all discuss the best times for each other to stream. That way you are not streaming at the same time as others and you can start streaming right before one of your other streamers end. I see so many streamers claim that they can't do this, but anyone can build a team of streamers even if you average zero viewers. In my management program, there is multiple streamers and I strongly encourage everyone to work with each other, raiding each other, and doing so it leads to accelerated growth for everyone in the program. The tenth mistake I see small streamers make every day is focusing solely on gameplay. While gameplay is extremely important on Twitch, it's not the only thing that viewers are interested in. Especially as Twitch continues to grow, more and more of the top streamers are focusing on the just chatting type of content. Incorporating other elements into your streams, such as music or interactive elements, can help you stand out and attract viewers. A good example of this is Julia's Not Live did a grandma POV where she would put on granny glasses and pretend to be chat's grandma. It may not make sense to just hear me talking about it, so here's the clip. I had to put some on. What a cute granny. Those damn kids won't stop shooting their guns outside. The 11th and final mistake I see small streamers make is giving up too easily. Building a successful Twitch channel takes a lot of time and effort. If you are doing this with expectations to grow overnight, you need to face facts that this is not going to happen. It is extremely difficult to grow on Twitch, but anyone with a proper plan can do so. Giving up too easily will prevent you from reaching your full potential. It's important to stay motivating and continue to work on your channel even when it seems like growth is slow because the moment you quit, you give up the chance of building a bigger community. If you do not want to put in this work and figure out exactly what you need to do to grow on Twitch slash kick, I do not blame you and I have something just for you. I have a management program where I work with you directly one on one to make sure you see growth. I do not charge an arm and a leg. I price all of my tiers strategically so you can make a profit from these. I have a full video on Patreon that you can watch for free before signing up. This will go through all of the benefits and show each one of these benefits in action to help you decide if this program is right for you. Spots are limited because I want to ensure everyone in the program that I have enough time to work with you one on one and help everyone get exposure. If I have any spots available, you can join my Patreon, which is the top link in my description. Thank you all for watching. If you learned anything, Anything I would appreciate if you subscribe. I do not want any of you to subscribe out of pity or because I'm asking you, but if I provided you any value in any way during this video, a subscribe, like, and a comment would help me out tremendously. It's been my lifelong goal to reach 100,000 subscribers, and when I do, I'm going to be making a full draw of my life video, taking you through everything that I've had to go through in life. As I just mentioned, I do not want pity. However, I want to show you all that no matter what you go through in life, with hard work and dedication, you can create a better life for yourself and achieve your dreams, even if there is far fetch of building a Twitch career. You may think that it's all luck, but in reality, building a community on Twitch or Kick is 99% skill and 1% luck. If you have the 99% skill, you will inevitably grow. And I teach you this 99% skill not only in my management program, but here on my channel. I have plenty of other videos that you can watch completely for free. Again, thank you a lot.